Hi, I'm Charlotte Smith with BladenOnline.com. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be talking with Jordan Facey, founder of Finite Inc., and his creation of the sludge treatment wetland at a farm called R&M, owned by Michael Inman in Tar Heel, North Carolina. Can you tell us what this is here? Thanks, Charlotte. So this is a sludge treatment wetland. Uh, we're using it to dewater, water, dry out the sludge from anaerobic lagoons on hog farms. Uh, works completely naturally. Uh, there are no chemicals and it's a, a new sustainable option for dealing with sludge in hog farm waste. So exactly how does it work? So basically, this is a constructed wetland. The constructed wetlands here are basically like a really big sand filter. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we have a filter and we put sludge uh, on there and the filter filters out water from the sludge and the solid material stays on top and inside that filter we plant cattails uh, and the cattails grow their roots out through the sludge and dry the material out naturally through evapotranspiration. So just like a tree takes up moisture, grass, everything, these cattails will dry the material out. So uh, relative to like geo bags which are being used a lot at the moment, this stuff is like two to three times better. It'll make the material two to three times drier. Uh, and so when you're trying to find, uh, a lot of people are having trouble finding land to spread their material and the transport costs are really expensive for spreading stuff out on fields. Basically we solve that. This thing makes the stuff a lot drier so the transport costs are less and then we'll take the material for free uh, and turn it into organic fertilizer and sell it. So farmers don't have to worry about finding out where they spread their stuff anymore. We, we sort that out completely. So we're here at r and uh, Farms, which is a hog farm, That's is that right, correct? A, nurse, a nursery farm, contract nursery farm for Smithfield. And how many um, pigs do they house here? So this is a 7,600 head uh, nursery farm. There are four barns. And how large is this wetland that you've created? So the wetland's about 10% of the size of the uh, lagoon and adds about 6% sort of water to the lagoon. And what do you do once the um, waste in the lagoon is ready to be transferred over here yeah. to the wetland? So the wetland is designed to be a permanent solution to sludge. It will stay on the farm for the rest of the farms operating life and the wetland takes sludge from the lagoon uh, every week you put a little bit of sludge on the wetland we've developed a, dr a dredge for doing that and so you dredge the sludge from the lagoon transfer it to the wetland uh, the wetland will treat it and dry it out uh, and, and fill up over time so our wetlands are designed to hold three to five feet of material and take between five and ten years uh, before the material needs to be removed so do you think this is a good permanent solution for hog farmers and you know their their issue that they're having with doing away with the, the hog waste? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a like this is a once off cost and the asset will last forever. So a lot of people are having to spend a lot of money now to deal with their sludge only to find that in a few years time they still need to spend the same money again because it didn't do what they thought it would. Whereas this wetland solution will stay here forever. Uh, the, the, the plastic liner that we're using lasts 80 years. Uh, uh, and then you, the farmer operates it itself. So this is a really simple, low cost, uh, low complexity system. Uh, it's basically like operating our dredge is really like baling hay. It's a really simple exercise that farmers can do themselves. And so we really want to let farmers take control of their sludge management and we deal with the disposal issues. So. Uh, we, we'll take it, this thing will last forever, will last practically forever, uh, as long as it's maintained properly. It's an earthen structure just like lagoons are, uh, and uh, yeah, the farmer operates it, uh, and then we take the material for free. Can you go over the cost with us, about how much this would cost a farmer? Well, so it depends on a lot of things to do with the farm, uh, and so uh, I, you can't say general numbers, uh, on the cost, it's better to use an individual site specific basis because it really matters where where you're going to build it. Is the thing close to a lagoon or is it a long way away? You've got to transfer the material. What's the soil like? It's mm -hmm. it's still an engineering project that okay. requires that kind of effort. But 
the, it, over the over the long term, this is by far the cheapest option that's available for dealing with uh, ag waste because uh, a lot of fields can't take fertilizer anymore, and so we completely deal with the disposal issue. Uh, we'll ship the material out of the state, uh, turn it back into organic fertilizer that people want to use again. And when you say we, you're referring to your company? That's right, yeah. Is that housed here in North Carolina? Yeah, Finite's based in North Carolina. Okay. Well, I heard that there's going to be a field day here. When, when is that? Yeah, so the Bladen County Livestock Association is running a field day on the 27th of September, uh, where we really want to showcase the technology, explain to people how it works, uh, especially how simple it is. Like, you can talk about these new things to people and they just can't, it's really hard to engage with a new idea without being able to see it. You need to be able to kick the dirt and, and see everything. So we want to show people how it works uh, and especially how simple it is. And so uh, Mike Inman, the farmer that we've been working with, has been really, really supportive uh, on, on the development of the technology and also on its operation. And so he'll be here as well to explain his experiences with using it. Okay. And for anyone who would like information about that, would they just contact the Ag Extension in, Bl in Elizabethtown? Yeah, and they can also jump on our website. So our website is uh, www.finite-us, so p-h-i-n-i-t-e-us.com. Jump on our website, there's a sign up page, you can get in touch that way. Okay, great. We'll also have a link on bladenonline.com to that page and to your website for more information. Thank you for joining us today and explaining the process of these wetlands.